There are a couple different methods for authentication into an AppSheet app. So I'm in the app editor here and uh, first we'll cover we'll cover the, the basic authentication mechanism that's available. There is uh, the ability to basically choose a public authentication provider. And by default, it's gonna be um, typically whatever service uh, the app developer uses to log into AppSheet. And those uh, options, you know, are, you know, Google and um, let's see if I can scroll through this Dropbox, Microsoft, Smartsheet, Salesforce, Box, and even Apple ID. Or you have the option to allow any provider to authenticate. And, and basically this just allows you to expand um, expand the um, the ability for folks to use their own account if you're you're having more external facing apps that are maybe outside the organization so you have that option and you can also disable this as well and allow all sign in users will basically just use that same provider to at least authenticate the email address but still allow any user who tries to log in or you can make a public facing app as well by enabling these two options down at the bottom. And then that would require no authentication and anyone would be able to get into that app. So that's your default authentication option. And with any of these, you're managing uh, the user list by the share button in the top right corner where you're manually adding users to the app However, that's not very scalable if you have more broader use of the application and you still need to control access by groups. So this is where domain authentication comes into play. And that's found under the domain authentication tab here where you could turn on domain authentication and use um, your, you know, the customers can use their existing authenticator, internal authentication tool um, to authenticate with their user groups and to add these accounts i'm going to switch tabs here to add these accounts you'll find that under my account there's this integrations tab and then authentication domains you can add a new authentication domain to the tab itself and you'll see here the different options that are available to be used against AppSheet app. Obviously the big ones are Active Directory and Google Domain, but there's also Okta uh, for those organizations and then OpenID Connect as well, which is more of a, a general uh, protocol that could be used in a wide variety of different services as well. So you could really, you could potentially connect AppSheet to a lot of different authentication mechanisms by using OpenID Connect. So, so back in uh, AppSheet itself is where you could then choose that domain that you have added to your account. And then um, you could type in a display. This is just purely presentational and then restrict by domain if you want to. Uh, if you have multiple domains, you can restrict by domain. But more importantly, you can start to add groups down below and you could define your authentication groups by, you know, by entering their name below and also define the app role. So there's two app roles by default, user and admin, but you could also add your own custom roles as well just by typing them in the field here. And then you could also choose what app version those users can experience to at any given time. So you might have a beta tester group or maybe a latest update group for development purposes. Um, you could define those in here too. So. Hopefully that helps with the authentication piece. Just kind of keep that in mind as you talk to customers about those options of authentication in AppSheet.